Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we've got an iPod Touch that is a little bit newer than these ones. Inside this package is a fifth generation iPod Touch which should be running iOS 6. And for those of you who don't know, that's pretty hard to find. So let's get this opened up and see if we have that inside. It's clearly a fifth gen and came with a charger. This looks like it might be an original Apple cable, but you never know because there's so many knockoffs. Overall, this thing has seen better days. Quite a few scratches on the back and the screen looks to be okay. Oh, I just clicked it on an accident. And it is iOS 6. Check this out. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is sweet. You know what the first thing I'm going to do is? See if Siri works. Oh, 6.0.1. That might have been the very first version that you could get on these. That's even better. All right, let me type in my Wi-Fi and see if Siri is going to work. How's the weather today? Searching the web for how's the weather today. It does. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. No way. Siri works on here. That's incredible. Oh, let me plug this in. Don't want it to die. That is super cool, but I don't think the App Store is going to work. That's kind of been the trade-off lately. Nope. So we no longer get the App Store, but we do get Siri on some devices. That is very nice. The fifth gen, if I'm not mistaken, was the first Apple device ever to feature a camera bump. We started with this little thing, and now we've got massive massive camera lenses on the back of our uh, iPhones. What else works? Is weather? I don't think weather works. Got a little funky charging port there. I know stocks does not work. Nope. What about, we can try. I think Safari works, but maybe not so well. Let's try Apple's website. I do think there's a bright spot on the display there. If you can see that. All right, so the website kind of works. It gets some stuff, but I wouldn't really call this usable. So the fifth gen iPod Touch was released in 2012 as the successor to the fourth gen. So here we've got both of those, both running iOS 6. But you can see the fifth gen has a much, well, it's got a, a slightly bigger screen and uh, a more premium look and feel. Although both of these are pretty scratched up. The camera got a big improvement and we got the addition of the um, flash on the back and of course we got our lightning connector. Headphone jack was switched sides so the speaker and the headphone jack were swapped. And we got this little thing, the, uh, the little lanyard. You would loop around there and then close. Both these are very thin devices. I don't know which one's thinner but they are, uh, no one's complaining about the thickness of these. But the fifth gen introduced the A5 chip, which was a substantial upgrade over the A4. 
the A5 was a dual core processor, and this was the first iPod that featured Siri, which is now working. What do you think about the iPod Touch? Everything you need to know about Apple products is at Apple's website. Wow, I still can't believe Siri works. For the longest time, it has not worked on iOS 6. That is amazing. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a pretty sweet device, and even though it's in bad condition, I'm very happy to have it. Let me know in the comments below if you had a 5th gen or a 4th gen iPod Touch, and hopefully you've still got it. If not, these things are very cheap, although you won't be able to find a 5th gen on iOS 6. You'll be able to find a 4th gen pretty easily. So that's been all for today. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.